Hello everybody and welcome back to the Max Hamilton Road to the Show Series, Episode 154. In the last one we faced off against the Red Sox, earning a no decision. Um, and Max threw seven innings, I believe. Yes, three earned runs, six strikeouts. Wasn't his best outing, but we ended up winning in the 12th inning. Wins loss is starting to become a non-factor, even if we won out... Um, if even if we won two thirds of our games throughout the rest of the season, we most likely wouldn't make the playoffs. But our next outing will be against the Oakland A's, a pretty good team, and Stephen Matz will be on the mound for them, the former New York Met. So let's check out the standings right now. We are eight and a half back the behind the Yankees, even further back on the wild card. The Athletics are five back on the Astros. But they are holding a wild card position, so they have something to play for right now. In terms of lineup, we or past success against the Athletics, have we faced them before? I think, yeah, this is gonna be our second start. That's why. No, wait, we had a bullpen appearance. Hmm. So we faced this team a long time ago. One point nine three ERA, one and no record, four and two thirds innings, three strikeouts. So. Definitely haven't seen this team very often. Also, our stats on the year right now. 16-6, 1.47 ERA, 2.16 on the strikeouts, and we'll most likely get above 200 innings on the season after this. Um, we need to check the rotation and the lineup for this team. So the rotation is looking like this. We're catching the back end of the rotation. Sean Manai is having a pretty good year. as their ace, Danny Salazar, Daniel Mingdon. Paul Blackburn, and Stephen Matz. Their pen isn't incredible. Their setups are pretty good, and their closer is good. Blake Trinan, I know he's not been very successful in real life last season, but he is in this game. In terms of lineup, Dominique Montano leads off. He's a young first baseman, looks like. Hasn't had a great season, but hits pretty well. For contact, Jose Iglesias hits second. Steven Piscotti third. Salvador Perez fourth. Wow, look at that power versus left for Salvi. Still hasn't had a great year, though. Jerks and Profar hits fifth. Hits well against lefties for average. Chad Pender sixth. Matt Chapman seventh. That's strange. He's hitting all the way to the seven hole. With those stats, too. He's hitting above an 800 OPS, yeah. Franklin Barreto, 8th, and Jason Keller is their center fielder and hits ninth. He is very fast. Um, and he has potential, right? Yeah, he's going to be probably a pretty good player in the future. Matt Olson might play. I'm not sure. Hits better off righties. So that's the situation he's in. But anyways, that's their lineup for the day. Why not give a little look at ours? Um, and how some people have developed. Don Hoskins leads off. Yandy Diaz is back. Adam Frazier, Randall Grichuk, Stefan Fernandez, Robbie Paul, Jonathan VR, Lewis Brinson, and Reese McGuire. Okay, right, let's go ahead and get into this. A player is encouraged to continue to refine All right. skills central to his game. Circle change velocity would be good. Right now, circle change velocity is looking the most appetizing. Durability. Yeah. Could work on some control. Um, we probably should work on some control, but we're going to work on circle change velocity. Up to 50. Also gets K per 9 up near 88. We got one and two against the Rays there. Not a rival. We'll work on Lucas Sims. Heart and soul. We'll be moving up a little more. Lucas Sims is near the bro status. And here's how we're looking today. Tyler Wade will actually be hitting second for us. Yandi hitting in the five hole. Maley will be catching us. Theirs looks awfully similar. Except Chapman's hitting fifth. I don't realize, or I don't recognize who they have out of their lineup right now. But let's just go ahead. I don't. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna work blue. Let's get into this. Let's go. Bros with everybody on the team. Max with some of them. 
Max is maxed. Um, look at the confidence drain help. Yeah, we're looking good there. All right, without further ado, let's get into this game as we uh, round out our August. We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Oakland A's. Almost time for these two to square off right after this. Steven Matz gets the ball for Oakland in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? One of the things that jumps out if you look at that stat sheet, a very high whip coming into this start. One of the things he's going to have to do a much better job, keep traffic off the bases, keep the walks down, try to limit the amount of hits. All right, three up, three down for us to start this one. We are in Oakland today. Lefty on lefty matchup to start the game. Here we go. Strike one to start the day. A couple tough starts, and honestly, the last one wasn't tough, but it um it wasn't great. Yeah, Maddie, I know they lost their last game, but you know as well as I do, in this sport you have to have short-term memory. You have to let it go. They can get it going back in the. Hopefully, we can get back in the swing of things here, though, and uh. Have a good outing. That's on the ground that he's not too fast. I thought he was quicker than he was. One down. Who's playing first today? Yandy Diaz is interesting. Here's how they're looking for the starting lineup. Piscotti's a pretty good hitter. So is Chapman. James McCann is catching. Salvador's not playing today. That's it. He's putting up some big numbers. This guy's got great power. All right, Jose Iglesias steps up, hitting 241 on the season. A little fell off the fastball. And take our time here with these pitches. Five homers and 31 RBIs. Iglesias, a shortstop, definitely known for his glove. Here comes the 0-1. Hitting second for the A's, though. Early again. Yep. Wasn't a great circle change there. Let's see if we can get him with the sweeping curve, oh, too. Nearly. He's foul ball late. Yeah. Let's see if we can throw a cutter here, blow it by him. And he just watches it. Throws him with the high and tight cutter. First strike out of the day for Max. There are two down in the first. Alright, Steven. Piscotti has turned himself into Oakland's best hitter. I wouldn't say he's their best position player. I would say that he's the best hitter. He, he The best position player, in my opinion, for the athletics belongs to Matt Chapman. The consistency kind of wavers a little bit. I'm not sure if you'd say he's a low ball umpire or a high ball umpire. Sometimes his zone changes from game to game. Yeah, he can be a little inconsistent, Dan. No question about it. But he's approachable. As as an offensive player, I just want to be able to turn around Wait. and say, is that as far as yeah. you're today? And Woody will use you want a cutter too, buddy? One two to Piscotti. He pops it up. Luke Maley sprints over there. And the well. Catching, not great hitting. Catcher, well, I thought I didn't work that well. The well fielding, not great hitting. Catcher will catch that pop up into the first. Yandi single. Uh, I thought we might get one in there, but nope. All right, Chad. That ball's popped up. It's not going to be caught. It actually will. Robbie Paul will chase it down. Thank you, sir. One down. And here is the A's best position player, Matt Chapman. Piscotti might be hitting a little better than him, but this guy is the best third baseman in baseball fielding-wise. Play is made over short. Thank you, Jonathan. VR, two down. 
Profar digs in next, hoping to stay hot. He had a couple of hits, including a home run yesterday. All right, Jerickson hit a homer yesterday. Strike one to start the at bat. Profar just rakes left-handed pitching. There's no real way to dispute that. Yeah, However, Profar does hit very well off lefties. Facing pitching from the right side. Lays off the circle change there, a ball and a strike. Here we go, guys. Let's go. Uh, can't can't get him anywhere here. Bottom of the second here with no score. I'd rather not give him one in the zone or too close to it. Fouled that off. I'd like to try this. An inside sweeping curve. It's kind of risky. It's a good pitch though. He fouled it off. He's early. How about a circle change? Two 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 outs. Won't chase. So after getting two outs with three All right, Jerickson. High and tight fastball. Now a pitch runs That's in fouled off. Played with you enough, Jerickson. Sweeping curve. Fouled off. Wow. All right, I thought this was going to be a relatively quick inning, but I was mistaken. Holy cow. And he did a good job just to make contact. He's early on that. Sweeping curve. Pretty well. And he actually crushes it. It's going to be gone. Going back is the left fielder and that one is gone. I don't know what to do, man. With two away in the inning. You fight that hard for that long. It's bound to happen. Profar hits a homer. I'd rather not watch it. Lord of mercy. We gave him everything. Could not strike him out. He just hit a homer. All right. A strike first. Kind of frustrating, but it is what it is. On to the third. Maybe we can get some run support this game. Nice. Nope. Guys, it's Steven Matz. I'm sorry, but this guy is no legend. He's serviceable. Actually, he'd be a number three in our rotation. He was taken in the second round back in 2011. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't oh, two to McCann. Either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career <laughs> the way this guy has. Can't get this guy. Can't get this team to go for anything. Good play, Yandy. One down. So striding in, Jason Keller, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Strike one. In, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. You know, from an offensive standpoint, they already knew they had their work cut out for him against strike the two. Pitcher, but if he's going to locate like that, this is going to be a tough day. Good waste pitch, one and two. Won't chase well, that. Overly bold right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff, zero oh and two. But he certainly looked ready for a breaker. Ah, that's that not where I two want that. Two, count. two two cutter. And Popped it up. up. All right, play that, Adam Frazier. Two down. It. He's got it, and there are two down now. All right, back to the top of the lineup. Montano. Doesn't hit great on the high inside stuff, so strike one. And he takes a cold strike. Oh and one. That elevated fastball right there. That is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came mm. up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. I'm still working east to west. <laughs> gets him to swing at a pitch. Was he there late? Early. Lefty on lefty. Let's try to strike him out with a sweeping curve. Goodbye. All right. Second strike out of the game and a pretty quick third inning. Still down 1-0, though. It's Steven Matz, guys. We got this. We can do this. There we go. There we go. Come on. 
to go in the bottom of the fourth. And stepping up is the shortstop, Jose Iglesias. Shortstop. Strike one. Ball strike down in the zone, nothing in one. Hey, let's go right here. And that misses downstairs for a ball, hey, one and one. Where do you want me to place pitch. that? Swing and a flare. That's flare. Grichuk has it. There one down here in the fourth. And that's the first out. So one away here with the bases. It's the point of that cutter to jam people. Steven Piscotti. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Bases are empty. One man out. Oh, he's way out in front. Had him way out in front for strike two. Man, it's a pitcher you have to love pitching 0-2 multiple ways. Oh, can't hit near the spot there. All right, one two to Steven Piscotti. High and tight cutter popped up. Most likely gonna get down though. No, VR runs all the way out there for the second out of the inning. Nice. Now at the plate, Chad Kinder, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. For some reason, he's cold in this zone. Strike one. In there for a cold strike. Played his entire career with the A's. Hmm. Cold strike, 0 and 2. Two well executed pitches at the knees right there. Saw a comment that said, I can release myself in free agency. Uh, I'm unaware of this in the game, but if you can give me a. If you can tell me how, I will definitely do it. 0-2. Two. two outs. Good night, Chad Pender. Filthy sweeping curve will be our third strike out of the game. And other than the one hit by Jerks and Profar, we are rolling. Except Toronto. Can't put anything on the board. Nice. Nice. Oh. 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 Nope. That's like six times. Like, no. All five innings, though. We have had people on base. Bottom of the inning now. And up next, the power hitting third. And haven't done a thing with it. Every inning, somebody's on base. Except for one. I think we went three up, three down. Halfway to 100 pitches. Here it is. Light. Oh, goodness. Big southern accent came out there. Late. White. Uh, oh, two to chat. That's actually pulled well. But Robbie Paul has it. One down. Thanks, man. Hey, Profar. He chased. Fouled it off. Can we set him down relatively quick here? We're going low outside sweeping curve. How do you not chase that? How about a splitter here? Uh, I cannot put this guy away. Cutter. Broke his bat. Yes, sir. Get down, boy. Two down. Alright, good revenge on Profar there. Breaking his bat. Alright, Franklin Barreto. Shrag. One. I can't believe Max is nearing his sixth season overall and his fourth in the MLB. He's going to be 23 years old next season. He's going to get on. Unbelievable. It's the second hit of the day for the A's. Here we go. 
Yeah, nobody on right there, Dan. Two outs. It's not every day you see a guy pick him up and put him down. Touch like a foul. Down first base right there. Bought himself a base hit. Late or He's early and just got a piece. Late. A lot of talent to hustle and doesn't take talent to be on time. And he Cutter. Mmm. What could have been a, a ground out to end the inning into an infield single. I'm going to get you with us. Hey, three High fastball. Right here, searching for that put -away stuff. Can't get him, but Yandy will chase it down. And we're through five. Still 1-0 Oakland. Got the end of our lineup coming up, so it doesn't make me feel too much better. But, hey, that's, hey, hey, let's go, Jonathan VR. That's what I'm talking about. And another score and another run because Frazier tripled. Now up 4-1, I feel a little bit better. That really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit mm. balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. The 1 0. 1 0. Alright, he gave us that one. 1 1. Oh, that's filthy. You know, Jason Keller, you are a rookie, and you're going to get just this most special pitch here. I don't think I got that in the top corner, but it should be good still. Oh, and he just watches this. Strikeout number four, I think, today. Yeah, I haven't had many on the day. Tonight, as we show you the league leaders in ERA, and as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. All right. Let's get those strikeouts up here. Strike one. Is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. And the pitch. Strike two. All right, Dominique. I just said I want my strikeouts up. Let's see if you chase this. No, oh, that was a bad pitch. Splitter. All right, he's late on that. I'm going to fastball high and tight. Blow it by Dominique. No, but it will be popped into center. There you go, Lewis Brinson. Two down. Jonathan VR are probably feeling pretty good about himself right now. Had a big hit for us. Three run shot. Perfect cutter. We're going to fastball, same spot here. Fouled it off. Yeah, you're in trouble, buddy. Very early there. Imagine yourself on the 73 mile per hour sweeping curve. How did he get a piece of that? He's late though. It's like he wasn't expecting it. Mm, won't get the call there. Well, this is approach we've seen him at 93. 1-2. Can't get that splitter to strike anybody out today. Bases are empty here with two men out. 1-2 again. And to watch the circle change. Couple strikeouts on Iglesias today. That's our fifth of the day. And we hold that lead. 4-1. Let's go. We should pitch the seventh. Hopefully coach allows us to. That might be our last inning, but... We should get to. 3-4-5 due up. Half of the seventh here, and up next, the outfielder Stephen Piscotti. Piscotti fouls that off. Bad pitch. Into the windup. Splitter a one. Foul ball. Late on that. On the splitter. We do throw the splitter hard. 86. Jeez. This cutter fouled off. Why not give him a cir I mean a sweeping curve. Every ball club has that spark gun. Gonna go showtime. Why not? Splitter here. And he will watch it for strike three. That was not where I asked it to be, but okay. Strikeout number six on the day. 
it's been a pretty dominant performance on the mound, and these hitters have had no answer for anything he's throwing. Six up. inch break. Wear on you if it lasts throughout most of the game, like it has here. First yeah, this has been a pretty good start. Chad Pender on the ground. Two down here in the seventh. If the play is made, it is. 84 pitches on the day. I'm willing to go an eighth if coach will allow me to. I believe if this stays a three-run game or less, coach might throw me an eighth, but he's going to put PJ in for the save. He's got a lot of faith in PJ McNeil, and I like that. He's a great closer. Why not try this sweeping curve again? Then get it where I wanted it to be. That's the type of pitch that really hurt us last time. Fastball most likely not going to get Chapman. Nah, he got a piece of it. Can we get him to chase, throw his bat at this? And he's early on it. Let's go. Seven strikeouts, two in that inning. We're starting to get the strikeouts going. Hopefully, Coach will let us throw one more at least. Because we are throwing quite well today. VR, our MVP of the day, Maley and Hoskins are due up. Look at VR get a triple. Jeez, it's 5-1 now. Meaning, we might throw a complete game if we can pitch well here. We do have to face Profar, though. Still throwing 93. Oh, that's filthy. Yeah, Profar, you've been a troublesome fellow today so you fell off again wow that's impressive we have one more show time kind of want to use it if we get in a jam all right we're not doing this again one two we're not doing this again jerks and Pitch number seven on the way to him. It's a circle change. And I'll chase. Let's go. Strikeout number eight. All right, Franklin Barreto. Oh, you're way early. Jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Offensive game plan needs to change right here. They need to get a little bit more aggressive. It's too late to try and work hey, counts. Right the wind up and the 0-2 pitch. As a pitcher right there, do not be surprised if he throws the same exact pitch. He was lucky to foul that one off. And that's a good splitter. I'm sure I'm going to get people today. Don't be shocked if this I can't tell you why. High and tight fastball hasn't got really anybody today. We won't get Franklin Barreto. He will pop it out to right, though. So Grichik will have it. Two down. We're up over 100 pitches now. And I believe it was after the fifth. We have now passed. Oh, McCann will get a single at the middle here. We have surpassed 200 innings on the season. So, congratulations, Max. Another 200 inning season. It's been a good back on track game for Max. There's another pitch for a strike and he's down 02. Really attacking him. More chase. Being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's gonna have a pretty good night. Mm -hmm. two balls and two strikes now. You know what? Let's use that last show time here. Probably gonna have a short leash. Next inning, and the splitter will get him. Strikeout number nine. 
Will they allow us to go for the complete game? The world may never know. Well, actually, they will in about 15 minutes, depending on if they leave us in this game. Couple extra insurance runs. Why not leave us out? Come on, coach. Hey, look at us. We're up 8-1. Yes, sir. Let's go. Going for another complete game. 1-2-3, though. Hmm. They weren't kidding when they said Woody Keller is inconsistent. Nope. Well, when you're out there trying to wrap up a CG, a complete game, you definitely don't want to start the leadoff guy with three straight balls. How about a cutter, 2 1. And he'll just watch it. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches. Obviously, no more showtime. Here comes the sweeping curve. He gets a good piece of it, but he'll fly it out to Grichik, and that will be one down here in the night. Not the start to the Throwing a good amount of pitches today, up at 113. So coming to the plate, Jose Iglesias. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, today's game. Popped it up. Will Grisha get there? Most likely not. He will not. But no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more. Oh one to Iglesias. Yeah, my guy's having a tough game. In terms of strikeouts, Iglesias isn't doing great. Sweeping curve on the ground. Nice play, Tyler Wade. And there's two down. Piscotti steps up. Fastball to start him. Fouled off. Oh one. Circle change miss misses. One one. Cutters popped, and Max will grab it for the win. Let's go. That is Max's seventeenth win of the year, and it was a mighty fine one. Very many complete games any longer because of pitch counts, but listen. He was good from the first Got a little nervous game. early game after giving up a quick home run to Jerks and Profar, but that was about all Oakland could muster today. Our Blue Jays eventually got it going and put up eight runs. We would have won that game even if I didn't pitch great. Mats will get his 10th loss. We'll get our 17th win as we are on the quest for 20. MLB the show. Ending stat line for us, nine innings pitch, three hits, one earned run, and nine strikeouts in those nine innings. So that is fine with me. Matt's through five for three earned runs. Jonathan VR was absolutely phenomenal today. Three for five with a homer, a triple, and four RBIs. Yandy Diaz had a homer, a double, and two RBIs. Robbie Paul's two for five. Love my guy, Robbie Paul. Um, but as you can see, we struggled to get strikeouts early, but got them in that six, seven, eight region. That's when we really just settled in and decided, you know what, this is our game to win. <laughs> Ooh, flashback legend. Cool. Here's where we stand right now in attributes. We actually got another upgrade. 200 innings pitch. Yeah, I don't get any more stamina upgrades. K per nine is up to 88. Fastball velocity is actually nearing. 75. Nothing else goes up. Splitter break got a decent boost today. Uh, these obviously go up in time. But yeah, that's what we have there. Come on, get back. Thank you. That was not our last start of August, though. We will have an August 30th start versus the Texas Rangers. And Shelby Miller, this team is as average as average can get, but Shelby is their ace, I'm pretty sure. Um, either way, we face them, and then we face Cleveland, and then I believe Washington, or maybe Baltimore. I can't tell. Um, it is going to be Baltimore. Dang, I kind of wanted to face Washington. But then we get all the divisional teams at the end of the season. You know how it goes. Um 
Hopefully we never have to face the Yankees again, but I'm pretty sure we're going to have to. Uh, relatively quick and probably multiple times at the end of this season. So we'll face off against Texas, though, in episode 144. I mean, in episode 155. This was episode 154. Max's season stats right now, 17-6, 1.45 ERA, 225 on the strikeouts, and 204 for innings. Two games now down against the Athletics. Doing pretty well against that team on the whole. If you look up at the top right, you can see our stats right now. Our break is looking really good at 80. And hits per nine is probably going to hit 99 in season four of the MLB. K per nine will hop up above 90 in that season. And the other two will get there in time. <laughs> kind of want to start working on some hitting too. But, nah. We lead most valuable player and Cy Young. I'd love an MVP, especially on this type of year where no one's really insane. Yeah, I'd love an MVP. Can, wait, who's the rookie of the year right now? Still not Don Hoskins. That's disappointing, but I mean, Willie Guevara is throwing extremely well for them. We're not going to win. Ah, I kind of want a gold glove. <laughs> We aren't making errors. It's never going to happen. I want to check up on how our pitching staff has performed this year, though, before I end the episode. Max, obviously insane. Madison Bumgarner, though, is now an 85 overall. He's 33 years old. He's aging. He's got a 4-1-3 ERA, 8-8 eight eight record. Okay. Henry Corona is sucking. Jesse Palin is sucking. Jeez, man. Sam Caviglio is actually doing relatively good for Sam Caviglio. Sean Reed Foley. Eh. Lucas Sims has a good record, but bad in general. Mike Morin is doing well. I like this guy. Bennett Fleming also doing quite well. Caleb Ferguson, eh, bad considering his overall. Tim Miza, pretty bad. PJ McNeil, having a pretty good season. Just got can't give him any more save opportunities because we're not winning that many games, and I'm throwing a lot more complete games right now. Anyways, I'm going to open this pack on camera. Where is it? I don't even know where to go for this, my inventory. All right, we have... A couple. First off, we might use a gold item. Got some new Nike sunglasses, but I think I'm going to go with these new cleats. In case I want to use them on somebody. I don't need to open that. We can do these three packs to round out the episode. To Miza. Hi, bud. It's our teammate. Ryan Braun. I still respect you, Ryan. And Ryan Brucky. Alright, we'll open this. Why not? Choose ones I haven't chosen. Oh, that was it. Let me get one pick this round. Let's go, Willie Mays. Alright, add those three guys to our collection. But that's about it. That's going to do it for me today. If you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll see y'all in episode 155, um, which will come in a couple days. I'm out.